What's up? What's up, y'all? Uh, today, I am going to show y'all how to mix and level your beats. Mixing and leveling is such an important part of making beats. It's not a hard thing to learn and start incorporating into your beats and stuff. It just takes a little bit of time to develop your ear and that kind of stuff. But again, it is a really important thing you need to learn. Um, another thing is a lot of people really tend to overthink mixing. They spend way too much time in the mixer, like mixing their beats and stuff when all you really have to do is level them. And for those wondering what leveling is, it's basically changing the volume of each sound to make sure they complement each other and they're not clashing and one's not louder than the other, that kind of stuff. I've been making beats for like three or four years now, I think, and it's taken me this long and I'm still learning new things about leveling and mixing. That's one of the great things about making beats is you always are learning new stuff. So another really important thing is what you're using to mix. I mean, obviously, you know, like laptop speakers are gonna sound different than car speakers and car speakers are gonna sound different than AirPods. <laughs> If you can afford it, I would recommend getting some flat response speakers or headphones or something. I use the Audio Technica. And then for studio monitors, what I would recommend are Yamaha HS7. I know they're pretty expensive, but they're some of the best you can get. I know a lot of people have different opinions on what monitors sound best and which ones to get and stuff, but out of all the research I've done and different monitors I've used in studios and that kind of stuff, I've still found that HS7s are the best in my opinion. And also you wanna make sure you have good sound selection. So basically what that is, is picking the right sounds for your beat. Not only does it help with the beat, making the beat sound better, uh, but you get better quality sounds and it's easier to mix and it just sounds better overall. Some of the best drum kits that I've found and that I use on a regular basis are the BWB kits. Halfway makes some really good kits. Foreign Text drum kits are really good. OZ's drum kit. Um, and then I actually have two drum kits out uh, called the Warfare drum kit and Havoc drum kit. I spent a lot of time working on these and tweaking and perfecting each sound. I use it all the time so I, I think it's a pretty decent drum kit. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, make a beat real quick uh, using a loop from my Madness Loop kit. And then I'm gonna take everything into the mixer and show you how to level and mix your beats. Here's the beat. What I'm gonna do is click on this top sound right here and drag it down like this. Go into my mixer and do Control Shift L. Uh, that routes everything to the mixer and then I'm gonna route the melody to the first one right here. So the first thing I like to do is start with my 808 and level that where I want it and then I level everything else around it. So I solo my 808 like this. And then I just kind of level it where I want. And after the 808, the next thing I do is I level my kick. And I usually like to have my kick clipping like this. For those who don't know what clipping is, it's basically when your sounds peak over zero dB and then it kind of gives it like a digital crunching type of sound, uh, which we fix later. But that's kind of one of the secrets, I guess you could say, to making your beats hit hard is having them clip. So after doing my kick and 808, um, there's not really an order you have to go in. Um, I tend to go with my claps and snares and then hi-hats and then perks and stuff after that. And then I do my melody last. So for the melody, what I like to do is I like to put it under the drum, but not so quiet that you can't really hear it and not too loud where it's over on top of all the drums. So I like to get it sitting just right underneath them. So the drums are hitting, but you can still hear the melody really well. And 
that's basically it for leveling honestly depending on what sounds you use you can eq out some of the lows or highs out of the sounds actually for the melody you do want to this melody in particular doesn't really have too much low end but you do want to make sure you cut out most of the low end out of your melody so how you would do that is you open up a free parametric eq and then there's a square on this purple band right here and what you want to do is drag it down until there's four squares and what that does is it gives it a hard kind of cut at the end of your eq and so solo your melody and play it and then you just want to cut out the low end until it sounds like it's missing something so as you can tell right here you can tell that the sound is obviously way different so what you do is you just bring it out after that to where you still have some of the low end but not so much that it's messing with your 808 and usually for my melodies i like to bring up the seventh knob right here just so it gives it more high end Okay, so finally is the master channel. A lot of people put pressers and, and maximizers and that kind of stuff on there. All I put is an EQ and a soft clipper. So for the EQ, all I do is I take this first one and I drag up this knob right here. And all that does is give your beat and your sounds more clarity. It doesn't make a huge difference, but comparing them side by side, you can really tell. And lastly, I just put a soft clipper on there. And what that does is, like I explained earlier, it takes the digital clipping that you have from your kick and 808, then it just softens it. Pretty much so your your beat is still clipping it's just not digitally distorted it's fruity limiter on there is just for recording purposes don't put a fruity limiter on your master unless you know what you're doing and yeah that's that's all there really is to mixing and leveling um, it's not a hard concept to grasp it just takes a while to develop your ear and like I said getting the right equipment and that kind of stuff really helps with that so uh, the links for all of this stuff all my equipment and all the sounds and that kind of stuff will be in the description if you have any questions or anything feel free to leave a comment if you have any suggestions or any type of videos you want to see also leave a comment about those and yeah thank you for watching